don't look at the light. Just keep looking. Straight ahead. I know it's bright. It'll just last a few more seconds. can look over here for me. Hmm. Good. Just keep looking behind me. Hmm. And can you just follow my finger here? Seeing only your eyes. Follow it in. And out. In. Out. In. Out. And switch to Your eyes were a little slow, but you did just wake up, so we'll give that a little bit more time. I would like to start with a hearing test, however. We'll just, we'll start simple, okay? Right, so I am going to be playing some tones in your ears, and they will play on either one side or the other right in the middle, and I just want you to tell me what side you hear them on. So I am going to be plugging my computer directly into you for that specific test. Is there any port that you prefer to be plugged into? Okay, I can do that. Let me just get my wire here. So, we're actually going to be doing a couple of different tests with you plugged in, so you'll be in for a little while. And I'm just going to reach in here and see. Okay, that looks secure. And is that connected? Brilliant. So, I am going to start that up. You just let me know whether you hear it on one side, the other, or right in the middle. Good, and that should start playing shortly.
it for the tones. Now I am going to conduct a couple more subsections of that test and firstly I'd like to do spoken word. So if you could just tell me what word you hear and repeat that back to me. Right. Okay. Just orange flashlight bowl green rose cloth Band paint. Okay. And did those sound any sort of muffled or distorted in any way? No. All right. Let's go with the other side. Mirror. Yellow. Base. Wood Jar Plaid Carpet Cardboard Black Metal And what about that side? Did it sound any different than the other side? We're going to do that same test, but this time it is going to be whispered, okay? Right. Power. Bamboo. Dot. Purple. Pencil. How was that? And everything sounded pretty understandable? Good. Try the other side. Arch. Tape. Cross. White. Door. And how were those? Did that sound about the same as the first side? And was there any sort of muffled sound or did it sound rather high-pitched, low-pitched? No. Okay. And do you happen to remember the first word that I had spoken? First word in the spoken test. You remember that? What about the second? Okay, and do you remember the last word of the whisper part that I said? Okay, so I'm going to have you remember a short list of words. Just three. And I will ask you about them later, so I'd like you to try to remember them. The words are cocktail, camouflage, snapdragon. Okay? Cocktail, camouflage, snapdragon. Cocktail, camouflage, and Okay, so we are going to do a mechanical test before we move on to nerve functions. 
So I'm going to type in some commands and we'll see if they come through okay. They are coming through just fine. So we're going to move on to some sensation tests. I am going to touch you with either a soft or a sharp object. Now the sharp object is not going to hurt. What I have is a pointed metal tip here, whereas our soft object is this brush. So from this point forward, I will need to be touching you for the sake of this exam. Is that okay with you? Do I have your permission to do that? Wonderful. So if I could have you close your eyes, I'm just going to be testing the sharp or the soft sensation. Wonderful. Sharp. Sharp. Soft. Soft. Sharp. 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 Soft. Sharp. Sharp. Soft. 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 Sharp. Sharp. Soft. Sharp. Soft. Very good. So I am also going to test the sensation on your extremities as well. So if you could just let me know whether you feel that soft or sharp test. We're going to start with the upper extremity, so the arms and the hands. So let me know if you feel the soft or the sharp. Sharp. Soft. Soft. Sharp. Soft. Soft. Sharp. 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 Soft. Sharp. Soft. Good. Let's do that on the lower extremities. So legs and feet. Soft. 
soft, sharp, soft, sharp, soft, soft. Sharp, soft, sharp, very good. Good. So, preliminary results are pretty good. We can do a little bit more of a comprehensive test later on when you're feeling a little bit more up to it. You can test vibration sense, temperature, pressure, things like that. So, do you happen to remember that list of words that I said earlier? Right, that little list of three unrelated things. Wonderful. Very good. And we're going to go ahead and do another mechanical test. So this time we're going to do a little bit of interpretation. So I'm going to load up some clicks and I want you to let me know which ones are just regular clicks and which ones are coded. Camp Reset Control Center. Evacuate. some sneakies on you. <laughs> Alert. Mm. Okay, we'll go ahead and wrap it up with that. All right. So, interpretation looks good. So we're going to do a couple of quick tests. There is going to be one that is focused on your sense of taste and one that's focused on your sense of smell. We're going to start with the sense of smell and I have some swabs that are in different smelling liquids and I want you to tell me what it is that you do that? Alright, so. And I'm just going to hold this up to your nose. Give that a smell. Yeah, that one's pretty easy. <laughs> that is antiseptic or alcohol. Take your pick.
Here's one you might like. What is this smell? It's oil, right? Sure, that brings back some fond associations. And last one. This one's kind of a special one. the smell. Yeah, it smells like earth. Dirt, earth. It smells like dirt. It's probably been a long time since you've smelled that, huh? Yeah. Me too. So, let me just... Okay. And... Now I've got some little application sticks and I'm going to take a little bit of flavoring. I'm going to put it directly on your tongue. So if you could stick out your tongue for me. not going to be anything specific, but it's going to be one of those flavor profiles. Yeah, let's grab another. What's that flavor? Salty. Yes, very salty. Let's flip that stick over and wasn't going to give you anything bitter. It's savory, it's a little tough because it's kind of salty, kind of not, but those three are pretty good flavor profiles to test for. So, you can put your tongue back in your mouth, <laughs> and let me just... We're going to circle back to your eyes. You're much more alert than you were before, so we can test a few different things. And I'm going to start with having you just look straight ahead, whether it's at me or behind me. And I'm going to get in real close. And this is going to be really bright. Yeah, it's very bright. a lot more with it than you did. I'm going to do quite a few different tests with the light, but it's not going to be this bright one the entire time. So, just keep looking straight ahead. Just keep looking straight ahead. Good. Pupils have been equal, round, and reactive to the light, which is good. It's a big thing with humans. Here we go. Good. So, let me go ahead and do some eye movement testing here. I'm going to have you look at my finger right here. Okay, we're going to try in and out again, right? In and out. 
in and out okay we'll switch the other finger in and out in and out in and out so accommodation reflex looks good we'll get you a little bit of a a lower light here. So I'm going to use the ophthalmoscope to to test your eye movement. So I am going to have you look at this light as best as you can. If you could just follow this light for me. This way. Up. Down. If you can't quite see the light, just follow the head of the ophthalmoscope. Good. There we go. Just real gentle. Just want to check the cardinal directions of gaze. We'll record that down and we have a few more tests with your eyes. Okay, there we go. So, we're going to do a coordination test. I am going to have you touch your nose and then touch my finger. Touch your nose, touch my finger. So it'll look something like this. Just like this. Okay? But it'll be you doing it, of course. So if you could just touch your nose. Good. And then touch my finger. Touch your nose. Touch my finger. Touch your nose. Touch my finger. Touch your nose my finger. Touch your nose. Touch my finger. T touch your nose, rather. And then touch my finger. Touch your nose. Touch my finger. Touch your nose. Touch my finger. Touch your nose and touch my finger. Okay, and I'm going to be moving my finger around. I'm going to have you touch your nose and touch my finger wherever it goes, just like this. Okay, go ahead and touch your nose and touch my finger. Touch your nose, touch my finger, touch your nose, touch my finger, touch your nose. Finger, touch your nose, touch my finger, touch your nose, touch my finger, touch your nose, touch my finger. Very good. Now this time I'm going to hold still. I want you to touch your nose, touch my finger, and then I'm going to have you do it with your eyes closed as best as you can. Okay? So if you could touch your nose, touch my finger, and then nose, finger, nose. Just like that, all right? Just as best as you can. Touch your nose, touch my finger, and then eyes closed. finger, touch your nose, and my finger, nose, 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 finger, n
finger. Very good. Lastly, I'd like to test your pursuits and your saccades. So your smooth eye, mo eye movements and the movements your eyes make when they are darting back and forth, your quicker eye movements. So for pursuits, I'm just going to very slowly move my finger back and forth. I want you to track it with your eyes. Right, so we'll start here. And this is kind of like our follow the finger test, but it's just going to be on one plane. Just keep following my finger as best as you can. Just watching how your eyes move in a smooth motion. Good. Okay. And now I am going to have you look at one finger, the other. Just like that. Might get a little dizzy. Right. So if you could look at one finger, the other, one finger, the other, and the other, the other, next finger, next finger, next finger, next finger, next finger. Very good. So, saccades look good too. So, pursuits and saccades and coordination. going to be a few last miscellaneous tests for your nerve function. So if I could have you swallow for me, just take a, a dry swallow. Good, and how was that? All right, was there any sticking at all? Did it feel difficult? No, you haven't been hoarse this whole time, which is good. Can you shrug your shoulders for me? Yep, just move them up and down for me. Let's keep doing that. All right, I'm gonna try to push down on them. I want you to press up against me, All right? So I'm pressing down, you press up. Good, and if you could have them up, I'm gonna try to press down and I want you to resist me pressing down. Good, and now let's test the tongue movement. So if you could stick out your tongue for me. Good. And if you could move it to one side, the other, up, down. Very good. And can you put your tongue back inside your mouth but touch the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth? Wonderful. Okay, that looks good. Go ahead and relax your tongue. Close your mouth. So your cranial nerves look good. I want to just do one last mechanical test, if you don't mind. So I'm going to load in some images, and I just want you to tell me what they are, right? Can you tell me what this image is? What about this one? This one? image. Mm -hmm. What about this one? Good. Okay. 
in this image. Mm -hmm. Very good. Alrighty. Looks good. So I think we can shut the program down. But I'm going to keep you plugged in because the very last portion of our exam is actually the end of the exam. Now, I think the best thing for you is just going to be rest, relaxation, and recovery. I don't think there's too much more that we need to do other than make sure that you're stable. And while you're sleeping, I would like to conduct just a little bit more imaging. Maybe run a few more tests just to make sure. But otherwise, I think really our only job left is to make sure you're comfortable. Right? Do you have any questions for me at all? Ah, yes. Well, as I said, we just kind of found you, so I'm not exactly sure what happened. And there wasn't really anything in your data either. We didn't really look that hard because we didn't have your permission. But there wasn't really anything we could see. I mean, there was, like... I mean, I guess I would say there was a cute android that crossed in your vision, but that doesn't feel like something that you would faint for, necessarily. Yeah, no, I don't think that's, that's what happened. That would, that would be a little strange. So let me load up our relaxation program. Alright, so that's good to go. Any last questions? No problem. Alright, so if you need anything, got your call button right here, and we've got you plugged in. I'm just going to make sure that wire is secure. all goes well. Sleep is the ideal, however, relaxation is definitely important if you don't quite feel like you can sleep. Right, looks good. So, I am just going to Thank you so very much for your time, and I wish you a swift and smooth recovery. Thank you, and be well. Relaxation Module 326 Rest and Recovery for the Temporarily Unwell. Attentive care and rest are tantamount to the temporary ill or injured android. Your skilled technicians are honored to care for you, so the only thing left is rest. Ideally, the patient would enter the deep sleep stage of restorative slumber to allow their body to repair without conscious interference. However, some androids have a shorter deep sleep ratio to rapid eye movement and light sleep, or they do not wish to sleep. This relaxation program is designed for those patients in mind. Take a deep breath in whichever way is most comfortable, and arrange your body in whatever way it is most comfortable. Then, mentally conduct a scan of the body. Start with the feet and travel upwards. Focus on each part and notice any pain or tension. Do not try to alter it, merely note it is present and move forward. From the feet to the knees, 
knees to hips, hips to chest, out to the arms and up the neck, finishing with the head. What sensations are present? Take another deep breath, in through the nose and out through the nose. Now, focus on the parts of the body you can influence. You may not be able to change the pain levels in the body, but you can directly affect the tension levels and ease some of the muscular constriction. If there was a part of your body that was tense, for example, the feet, manually tense those muscles. Clench the muscles in that part for the count of three, and then release. Take a deep breath in and clench the muscles. Count to three and release upon your exhale. Deep breath in and clench. One, two, three, and release the muscles while exhaling. This is a manual relaxation technique to retrain your body to let go of its tension. Even parts of the body that are not currently tense could benefit from relaxing further. Deep breath in while clenching your muscles. One, two, three. Exhale and release the muscles. Deep breath in while clenching your muscles. One, two, three. Exhale and release the muscles. Deep breath in while clenching your muscles. One, two, three. Exhale and release the muscles. Good. Whenever you notice tension arise, manually relax your body so that it can rest. Closing your eyes or allowing your mind to drift can also aid in the resting process. This has been Relaxation Module 3, 2, 6, Rest and Recovery for the Temporarily Unwell. Thank you and have a pleasant healing process. access